Hi, this is Brandon Moon with Moonlit Fly Fishing. Want to welcome you to Fly Tying Night tonight where we're going to be tying up a parachute caddis. This one is in black to imitate a black caddis. Feel free to tie it in a variety of different colors to match the caddis in your area. With that, we're going to go ahead and get started and put the hook in the vise. For the hook on this, we're using a size 14 Moonlit premium Tagata ML102 in a size 14. Tie it in size 12s through 16 as well. Just adjust that a little bit. All right, so we wanna also invite you to like the video, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to receive future notification as well. So we're going to start that thread about three quarters of the way up that hook shank and we're just going to wrap back to the bend of that hook. We'll trim that out. Okay, I'm going to take a wild barred turkey by it from Magpie. This is their gray drake. Always want your bias to be moist. I'm going to tie this bias in with the edge side down. And the translucent side up towards the hook shank. Now I'm just going to take and wrap securing that down to that three quarter point. Now I'm just going to take and create a thread tapered body with this by going back and forth. Now that I've made my taper to that body, I'm going to half hitch this and set it off to the side. A little more thread wraps using the 12 watt classic wax versus the thicker classic wax thread. Well, now I've misplaced my hackle pliers. Here they are. We'll use this one today. Now I'm going to make sure that that ridge edge is on the back side. the butt end of that hook and we're going to wrap that up into that three quarter mark there where we're going to secure that in with some wraps over the top and lock it in with two wraps in front we'll then take and snip that out. Now you're going to take your favorite EP fiber or for us this is Semperfly's Black Predator fiber. I'm going to take and I'm going to secure that down at that three quarter point. I just want to secure it in nice and tight. I'm going to wrap it up towards the eye of the hook just a little bit where I'm going to trim that out nice and tight there and then I can secure that down. Now I'm going to take a piece of wire and this is just to secure this wing out of the way a 
when I take and wrap my post. See how that just lays it out out of the way. Now I'm going to take some hot pink poly yarn from Semperfly and we're going to lay that right over the top roughly about that three quarters to two thirds mark so we can get a nice good parachute post and you can see I've created a pretty good base to this thorax I'm not going to need a whole lot when it comes to dubbing this and I've I've taken the wire to secure my poly or my EP fiber wing so that I don't capture any of the EP fibers as I'm creating my post. I'm just going to wrap this up just a little ways. And then back down. Now I'm going to take, and I'm using Silver Badger just because I like Badger a lot and I like the brighter contrast on this. These caddis can have a lighter colored wing sometimes. I'm going to put and secure this in with the shiny side of this hackle facing me so that when I wrap this hackle, shiny side faces down. Now I'm going to take some black kapok dubbing. This is finer than super fine dubbing. It floats 30% its body weight. So this makes it the ultimate in dry fly dubbing. where I already had built up part of my thorax with that poly yarn and EP fiber doesn't take much I'm gonna do about two to three wraps of hackle down that post I'll tie it in with one wrap over the top. Now I'm going to take some Loctite super glue on this brush applicator. Put it on my thread. Now I'm going to secure that down with two weaves. I'm going to kind of cinch that down making sure I seat that glue and everything in now I'm just going to snip that out take and trim my parachute post and trim out my hackle fiber now I'm going to take that wire off my wing and I'll come back to the bend of the hook where that hook bends at the very back and trim that out 
just past the body. Now I've got <clears throat> my parachute caddis. This is tied with EP fibers or poly yarn. Feel free to tie this using elk hair, x caddis hair, anything like that would work just fine. I just like the EP fibers, they're easier to tie with and I can get a wide assortment of colors. So with that, I'd like to make sure and invite you to hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment and hit the bell for future notification. We appreciate your support. This helps us as we work to get content out to people and we hope you have a great evening and we'll see you next week.